I actually got quite a bit. Good morning, modern steaders. It's snowing out pretty good this morning. I don't know, we got probably about two inches heavy, wet snow. Olivia's got a two hour delay from school this morning. She's enjoying that. I wanted to move New York City today, but I don't know if that's gonna happen with how much snow we have. And it's wet and sticky. You goats don't want nothing to do with this, do you? They're like, yeah, no. Not one bit. You girls better get used to the snow. Yeah. I'm gonna have it all winter now. Come on, Willow. There you go. It's gonna be dark back here this morning. Our skylights are covered in snow. Well, it was too dark in the milking parlor for the camera, and almost for me for milking. But this morning I did just order a roof rake so we can clean off the skylights and keep it brighter in the goat barn come this winter. I can't get over how much snow we got already. What are you doing? You want to go in the house or what? You're crazy. If you want any hay, you gotta come out here to the hay feeder. You'll have to try getting in the snow girls. They haven't even come out of the barn yet. What are you doing? Come on. Let's go. Well, the excavator left just in time. We still would have had the excavator and the trailer in the driveway. Now, if you live in an area that gets snow, these are one of the best things to have, a snow broom. I'm pretty sure I got ours on Amazon. I went online and look and I'll put it in our Amazon shop and there's a link in the description down below for that. But. Oh, it makes cleaning off your car so easy. <laughs> we have two. We keep one in Gina's car, and then the one for my truck usually stays in the house, and when I need it, I'll put it in the truck. Love you. Have fun trying out your snow tires. Thank you for taking my smile off. You're welcome. Oh, I probably can wear boots. You want your snow boots? Yeah. Your snow broom's in the back if you need it later. Love you. Drive carefully. I just got another phone call. School's canceled. Really? 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 Yeah, no school today. <laughs> what? What? No really? school. Really? 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 Yep. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm positive. I just got a text message. Really? Yep. Really? Yeah. Really? It's on my phone downstairs. This crazy cat. It's his new place to sleep. Huh. Mm -hmm. We're switching over to the GoPro. It's snowing out pretty good and my camera got pretty wet last time we were out. Holly, it's coming down good. Uh -huh. Look at that. Looks so beautiful. making the right call but I'm gonna try moving New York City tomorrow. The next couple of days it's supposed to be nice out so we'll leave it here today and we'll move it tomorrow. Come on girls. Come here Pluto. Look at your cat. He's just like staring. Oh dang it, I missed him again. You wanted to swat your snowball. Don't 
pretty good. Stop putting some brush around it now. This has been the best way I found to burn the brush, just to start a fire with some other wood kindling and then bring your fire or your brush fire to it and then just start spreading it. I'm trying to get the last of the brush and stumps burnt up from when we cleared the lane and the old apple orchard. I still had a few down trees that were in my way that I needed to get taken care of so we could plow the driveway a little bit better. Is that a comfy chair? Yeah. You're silly. Remind me, I heard a tree break over there. See that one pine tree right there that's green? Yeah. A branch snapped off of it. We should go walk over and look after and make sure it didn't fall into the road. Olivia just said, Dad, is that a leaf blower? I said, yeah. What did you say? Are you going to blow some snow with it? Nope. You want to see what I'm going to do with it? Yeah. All right, let's go. What you think of that? What's that? It was interesting. It was interesting. You don't think that was awesome? It was. It was. What are you doing over there? Making snowballs. You storing them in your pine tree refrigerator? Yeah. You're silly. Just hopefully they don't stick together. I hope I don't have to have a snowball fight with you with all that stockpile of snowballs. You won't. Okay. While we wait for the fire to get going, let's go check on and see if that tree fell in our road. I think I'm going to have to plow today. If you plow, you put the plow pile of snow like where you normally put it. Yeah. So I can build a snow fort there. Yep. So I'll have two snow forts. I wasn't planning on plowing, but we got probably almost six inches of snow. Yeah, it fell on the road, Livvies. Yep. Well, I guess it's a good thing we got the burn pile going. We got a place. We Now we have something we can do with that pine limb. Hopefully I can drag it back. Seems like there's two. Oh, one big one. <laughs> I'm going to be tired after that. We lost power, guys. Got to call it in. Good morning, Red Light. Brenda speaking. Hi, Brenda. This is Al Lumna. We lost power out on. Yep. Um, our guys are out there right now doing investigating. Um, we are aware of the outage. Is there a good number to reach you at? So yep. If, um... This number, 603. Okay. Yeah, so as soon as I hear anything, I'll give you a call. All right. Thank you, Brenda. All right. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye.
That trick works nice. Thanks for everybody who left that in the comments down below. That's a great idea. I was feeling so good right now. I'm like, man, this pile is getting burnt up so nicely. We're going to have this area cleaned up in no time. And then... Oh. Wow, that didn't help the fire. Now did it? I guess we need to get it going again. Oh, I couldn't have planned that any better myself if I tried to. That snow fell off that pine tree right square, right in the middle of that bonfire. Now we'll just hope no more snow falls out of the tree. Well, we got all the brush in the fire. I think it's time to go in and try to get the plow hooked up and see how the new plow works. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. I want to go sit in the truck and get warm. Okay. Must admit, I'm a little nervous. First time using the new plow in the truck. Let's see how it goes, guys. First time. Plowing the driveway went really good till right about here. I got it in fast forward. Unfortunately, we can't see the front of the truck, but I'm not stuck in a snowbank or anything. There's a small little incline. And once my tires got filled up with snow, the tire treads, I couldn't back up. Finally, I got it backed up and I put my brakes on right here and I just slide and slide. I thought I was gonna wreck the new truck down over the little bank right there and had Olivia with me. So at this point right here, I decided, you know what? I'm calling and getting some snow tires put on. We're not having this this winter. The chickens found another spot to keep dry. I was gonna say, I bet you we gotta reposition all that brush. Yep. Burnt good in the hut spot, but now we gotta pull everything back in there. That should get going again. We'll check it in a few minutes. Well, that was the first time using that plow. And I'll tell you what, that Boss HTXV plow, not a sponsor, but that thing works pretty slick. I'm happy with it. I think we need the leaf blower again. And I'll tell you what, this snow is pretty darn slick. I don't know if we got it on camera or not, but I got stuck. Luckily me and Olivia were able to get out 
Otherwise, we would've been that snowbank for a while. So I decided to order some snow tires. I'm gonna get some snow tires put on the truck this week because if this is a sign of what winter's gonna be like, we're gonna need the snow tires. Chicken still too aren't sure about coming out. Well, we got power back, and I switched back over to the cannon because it's not snowing out anymore. But guess what? Now it's misting a little bit. Crazy weather. I'll have to go check on the goats in a minute and see if we can help them out with the snow. That pile burnt up really nice. How's your fort? Um, it's good. It's good? How are your snowballs doing? Okay. They're okay? Kind of. Alright. I wish the goats liked the snow as much as Pluto. Pluto's like, you talking about me? Huh? You talking about me? Yeah, we're talking about you, you fool. <laughs> Blossom and Buttercup came out. Oh, poor goats. Wait. <laughs> Here we go. The only spot that, that's dry that doesn't have any snow is in the barn underneath the hay here. Yep. Oh! And now they have to poop in the snow. Oh, they gotta poop. No. Well, they can poop inside. No. No. No, what do you think? They pick up their water dish right up that water dish. Oh, right there. Right there. Is that some good hay? <sighs> That's the most shoveling I'm doing for them today. Whew. There's been lots of shoveling going on today. Hollivies. You're all grinning. What are you smiling about? <laughs> Who are you throwing that at, huh? I don't know. Oh, you got some snowballs and you want to get in trouble, don't you? I don't know any snow. This is snow. Oh, I think it's snowballs and you're waiting to get in trouble. <laughs> your giggle, your giggle says otherwise. Oh, poor Pluto. <laughs> she getting you, Pluto? Oh. Good thing I got a camera, huh? No. No? I was hoping we were gonna catch the snow coming off the roof, but that ain't happening. I got our Premier One gate. I'll bring that in today. Tomorrow I'll take down the rest of that temporary fence. Ah, uh, excuse me guys. This is not a roosting spot. I don't think so. No. What do you think of all this deep snow, Mr. Figaro? Huh? You seem to be liking the snow, Mr. Figaro. You like it? Oh, you crazy goats. Nope, stay in. There you go. Stay warm tonight and enjoy that chaff hay. Well, I wasn't expecting all that amount of snow. I thought we were gonna get one to two inches of snow for the day, not six to eight. Luckily we were able to get all the brush cleaned up for the day, picked up the down trees that were still in the lane. I didn't have a chance to show any of that in the video. We were able to pick up that big old blown down piece of pine, get everything plowed out, the truck didn't get stuck. All in all, it was a good day. 
It was great to be able to have a snow day with Olivia. It was such a good time to enjoy that time with her. We only have a little bit of time with our kids when they're this age, so uh, it's it's fun to be able to spend the time with her. Really appreciate you all that are watch this channel every day and to the end. Without you, we couldn't be doing what we're doing here in the channel. And we just want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for that, and we'll see you guys right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.